for part four, we are going to be making four corners on our octagon to turn it into a square. Each corner is the same pattern, but we will be changing the colors that we use. And the different changes of colors will make this tree of life appear in the four seasons of the year. So we get started on this part four. Um, for the video purposes, I will show you the complete triangle for one of the points. I hope to show you after each row um, my four different points in those colors as well. You can work this one triangle at a time, or you can work it one row of each of the triangles simultaneously. Follow the um, chart in the written pattern if you wish to do similar to the designer's color scheme. You are certainly welcome to be creative with your colors in this section. You can have all your trees the same, or you can um, vary your colors to show the different seasons as well. So for me, I am going to start showing you on the video um, what is labeled as the spring colorway in the written pattern. So that starts with color C. We are going to find any of our corners and that double crochet that's just after that corner single crochet. We're going to leave the stitch marker in the corner. So I will single crochet in this first double. So this is row one of the triangle. So single crochet in that first double crochet after the corner and in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next single crochet and in the next stitch, which should be that double crochet, we will single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. We're going to mark that chain one space. So single crochet, chain one, single crochet, marking the chain one space all in that next stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next, which is a front post single crochet chain one, skip the next stitch. In the next stitch, which is again as a front post stitch, we will place a half double crochet, chain one, we'll mark this chain one, Repeat in the same stitch another half double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next, which is a front post single, chain two, skip the next stitch. In the next, we will place a double crochet. So this is worked into um, the double as well. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Worked into that same stitch, chain two, skip the next single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. At this point, we're going to be making the trunk of the tree, so it's a spoke. So we'll single crochet in this next stitch, which is a front post single, chain 10. Nine and 10. So we're gonna skip those first four chains, and on the back in the fifth back bump or third loop of the chain, we will make a slip stitch, which creates a chain four loop at the top of the spoke. Chain two, 
and still on the back, we're going to skip two chains and make a slip stitch in that next back bump, which creates a chain two space. Chain two, we'll skip these last two chains and then single crochet back in that same front post single where we started the truck. So we have a chain four space at the top, a chain two there, and then right at the end, we have another chain two space. We will single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Chain two. Skip the next single and in that next double crochet, we will place a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that same stitch, chain two, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next, which is a front post single crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, in this next stitch, we will place a half double crochet, chain one, and again, we want to mark this chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch, chain one. We'll skip the next single, single crochet in that next stitch, which is a front post single. We'll skip this next stitch and in the next stitch, which is a double crochet, we will single crochet, chain one, marking that chain one space and single crochet back in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in these last six stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five and a six so that should be in the last stitch before that next marked corner and that is row one of the spring corner we will fasten off at the end of each row And then if you wish, you can work this along the other corners. So there will always be, so this is spring, we'll skip that next side. The next corner would be worked there. So there'll be one um, unused side in between each of these four triangles. Row two, suggested color is color A. We want to start with a front post treble, so we'll yarn over twice. We want to find that spoke, which was the start of our tree. And then looking on round 34, we want to find the second double crochet before that spoke. So I've yarned over twice in from the front around the back. Pull up my loop and finish a treble crochet for our front post treble. We'll skip these three stitches and around that next double crochet we'll place front post double crochet not treble as shown. We're going to make a double crochet just at the base of the trunk, we have those two single crochet. In this first single crochet, we're going to double crochet through the legs of that single. So through these two 
legs that come down. Just insert hook under just the second leg of that single crochet. To pull up our loop and make our double crochet. In this first chain two space, we will place two double crochet. One, two, and a half double crochet. Then in the next stitch, we want to insert there should be two loops that we can insert under to place a half double crochet. So that's in a chain that we're working that half double crochet. In this next chain two space, we'll place two single crochet. We're going to slip stitch into the chain four space at the top of that spoke. And from here, we're going to make some branches for our tree. We will chain eight. Seven and eight. Then working on the back side again, we'll skip those first two chains, work a slip stitch in the back bump in the next five stitches. So one. two, three, four, and five slip stitches worked into that back loop of our back bump of the chains. Now we want to make four more of these branches. So we slip stitch into that chain four space, chain eight. On the back, skip the first two chains, slip stitch in the next five. So we have two branches. You want to do that three more times. Showing you at the top before we um, come down to slip stitch on the back side of our chains, you want to add a stitch marker at the top to show where that chain two space is created in each branch. So after you've made these five branches, we will slip stitch back into this chain four loop at the top of the spoke once more. And then we're going to get ready to work down the side of the spoke or the trunk. So in this next chain two space, we will place two single crochet. And then in this next chain here, we want to place a half double crochet. And in that next chain two space, we'll place a half double crochet and two double crochet. And then looking at this last single crochet at the bottom of the spoke, We want to just go under that first leg and place a double crochet. And then finding on round 34, that first double crochet past the tree, we're going to make a front post double crochet.
and then front post treble around that next double. And that's where we will stop. So we're going to fasten off here. Now, as we do, these sides of the tree are kind of loose. So if you want to take your darning needle and sew those ends in right away, that will secure the trunk. So we have our roots made by these front post stitches. We have the trunk and we have our branches for our tree. Row three recommended color for this spring tree is color F. When you work the summer version, if you're working as a designer did, there's three different colors used, and I will try to show you that when I work my summer. But for the spring set and the autumn and the fall, it's one color only. Spring, I'm using color F. We've turned, we want to turn our work so we're facing on the back or the wrong side. So looking on row one, we have, we're going to skip the first three stitches and single crochet in that next stitch. One, two, three, single crochet in that next stitch. Chain four. We'll skip these next three stitches and then working in the marked chain one space, we are going to make a cluster five double crochet. So we just yarn over, insert in that space and pull up our loop. I'm going to remove my marker now that I have started in that space. We'll yarn over, pull through two loops, leaving two loops on the hook. We'll do that five times. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on our hook. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two for four loops, repeat. Five loops on the hook and one last time. Six loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops. Then we'll chain four. In that next marked space, we will make another cluster, five double crochet cluster stitch. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving the two loops on our hook. And again, we can remove the marker. We'll do that four more times. Should have six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops. Chain four. And then in this next chain one space that's made between the two double crochet, we'll again make another cluster stitch. So that's a total of five partial double crochet, which leaves six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all six, and chain four. On the tree trunk, we're skipping these three sort of root stitches and the two double crochet and the half double crochet. Finding that half double crochet that was worked into the chain stitch, we want to slip stitch just in that front loop
just to connect our chain to the tree trunk. Chain two. And then on the other side of the tree trunk, finding that half double crochet that's worked into that same chain in that front loop, we will make another slip stitch. Chain four. Then skipping these tree trunk stitches and the root stitches, finding those two double crochet on round one, or row one in that chain space will make that cluster, that five double crochet cluster. Two, three, four, and five. Chain four. Finding that next marked ch chain space, five double crochet cluster in there. Chain four. In that next marked space, Again, we'll make a five double crochet cluster. Chain four. We'll skip three single crochet, single crochet in the next, and then there's three stitches that we're not going to work into at the end of that. Fasten off. So this is what it looks like from the wrong side. I'll flip my work. And this is what it looks like from the right side. If you wish on the summer triangle to change colors in row three, I'll show you how I did it. So I have started with my one color and I've started that first five double crochet cluster. So before the final yarn over pull through all six, I'm gonna drop the color that I'm working on and pull through with my new color to close that cluster. And then we would chain four with the new color, three, four. And then in that next marked space, I'll make my five double crochet cluster. Four and five. And then I'm going to start my third color I like to tie it to the same, <clears throat> the color I was just finishing with. Yarn over with the new color, pull through all six loops. And then our old color, I just fasten off. And we'll sew in that end in a few minutes. So then we would chain four. Make another cluster five in that next chain five space. This time we leave the same color on our hook to do that final pull through, chain four. And then on the back of the trunk, we're just joining that slip stitch there, continue with the same color for that next flower and then switch colors for the remaining two as well.
row four. Suggested color is C for this spring tree. We're going to find row one again. We want to skip the first single crochet and in these next two singles we will place a single crochet. One and two. We'll skip this next stitch which has the stitch in it from last round and then in the next single crochet we'll place two double crochet. We want to make sure we're working in front of row three. So two double crochet in this next stitch, double crochet in the next, and we'll skip this next stitch. We want to place a front post single crochet around the five double crochet cluster. So just in from the right side around the back and out to the other side yarn over, pull up our loop, and finish a single crochet. So we'll skip that next single crochet just after that cluster, and double crochet in that next stitch. Again, making sure that we're working in front of row three. Then in this uh, chain one space here, we're going to place two double crochet. Working in front of row three, and then front post single around this next cluster. In this next chain one space, working in front of row three, place one double crochet. skip this next stitch and then in this chain space we will place two double crochet front post single around the cluster and then we'll place two double crochet in this next chain space So we're going to skip the next single crochet, which is behind these roots here. We want to treble in that next. So we're going to work behind the tree, but in front of that chain. So it's a little bit tricky there to make sure we skip one stitch and find that next stitch. So I'm sort of, this is the stitch we skip. So I'm putting the roots down so I can see that next stitch and still work in front of row three, make our treble crochet. Fold the tree to the front, so make a chain one want to slip stitch in this chain of row three that's behind the tree. Chain one. And again, we're going to be skipping these three single crochet of row one and working in the next we will place a treble. So this time it's that last single crochet. Ooh. One, two, three, so this time it's that last single crochet that's before that chain two space. So again, we're working behind the roots of the tree but in front of row three. Two, 
two double crochet in this chain space of row one. Front post single around the cluster. Two double crochet in this next chain space of row one. And again, making sure we're working in front of the chain of row three. We'll double crochet in this next chain space of row one. Front post single around the cluster. Two double crochet in this next chain space of row one, working in front of row three. So I kind of use my finger to sort of fold that row three down as I'm working these stitches. We'll skip this next single, and in this next single crochet, we will place a double crochet. Oops. Skip one, double crochet in this next single. Front post single around the cluster. Skip this next single, and in the next, we'll place a double crochet. Two double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the stitch that row three worked into and single crochet in these next two stitches, leaving that last stitch unworked. And again, we can fasten off. Round five suggested color for spring is D. This is to represent the sky. We're going to be working in between our stitches of row four. So we'll skip these first two singles and the first two double crochet. And then in the space just after that fourth stitch and before the fifth one, we are going to place a single crochet. We want our hook also to go under that chain of row three. So single crochet in that space between stitch four and five of row four and under the chain of row three. And we'll do that for each of the next three stitches so it'll be four times we do this so in between the stitches and under the chain single crochet that's twice three and four times and i've worked that chain my hook's been under that chain in the back each time Now between the stitches four times, we'll make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert between those next two stitches and under the chain for a half double crochet. Once, twice, three and four times for the half double crochets. Then we'll work similarly, this time using double crochet in the next four. So yarn over, insert between those next two stitches and under that chain, make a double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll treble 
in this space. That's so just before that treble and under the chain. So I yarned over twice, pulled up my loop, yarn over, pull through two, three times. And then in this next part here, just after that treble, before the slip stitch, chain two. Okay, we'll skip behind the tree. And then we want to work um, just after the slip stitch before that treble, making sure you're working under the chain of row three, placing a treble crochet. And then after that treble, we will place a treble in that space, including the chain of row three. And then four times we'll make a double crochet between the next stitches. So that's one, two, three, and four. Half double crochet between the stitches and including the chain of row three, four times. So one, two, three, and four. And then, then we will do four single crochet in between the stitches and including the chain. One, two, three and four so we don't we don't work the spaces in between these next stitches here and you can go ahead and fasten off We're now going to work a couple of short rows that are basically just behind the tree to sort of extend the sky up behind the tree. So there are different colors used depending on which season you're working, so pay attention to that. We'll use color D for the spring tree. We want to find the second stitch before the tree, so that's the first treble crochet, and we will slip stitch in that treble. We'll skip the second treble, and in this chain two space, we're going to place eight double crochet. One, two, that's seven, and eight double crochet. We're going to skip these two trebles and then slip stitch in the next three double crochet. One, two, and three. Do not fasten off. We're going to continue with color D for row seven. We want to flip our work to the wrong side. So we're going to go the other way. So we'll chain one, and we're going to work a double crochet in each of these eight double crochet. So just a reminder, when we're on the wrong side, the top of the stitch is just past that post. So double crochet, 
chain one double crochet in the next so I've done that twice we want eight chain one double crochet three times four five six seven and eight chain one so we'll skip the slip stitch and the double crochet just after that and slip stitch in this next double crochet and then we can fasten off. So that's from the back. And from the front. Row eight, we are doing color B. These are going to be blossoms and leaves, and we're just working on the tree. So we're going to find that first branch, and in that marked chain two space, we will place a single crochet. Okay, I'll move the marker once I've got that. So single crochet. We want to be careful that the spokes don't twist. Chain one. We want to move our marker to this chain one. Place a second single crochet in that space. Chain three. And we'll do that four times. So be careful to find the next branch. And in that marked space, we'll make that single crochet, chain one, moving the marker to the chain one, single crochet back in that space, chain three, and two more times. And then in this last branch, one more set of single crochet, chain one, single crochet, do not chain three, and we can fasten off. Row nine, using color D, we want to start with on the wrong side. And we come down to row five, so that was our first row of the sky. We have our two trebles and the four double crochet. We have a slip stitch in this one, in this next double crochet. Sorry, we have a slip stitch here in this double. So in this double crochet, two trebles and the four double, we will place a slip stitch in that double, which is just before that other slip stitch. Chain five. So 
we're going to skip this first chain one space and work into this next chain one space of round seven. But to do that, we want to have this chain three space of round eight sort of brought to the front so that we can work behind that chain three into that chain one and make a single crochet. When we see it from the right side, it looks like we worked in front of the chain space, and I'll show you that more at the end. Chain five. So we skip the next chain space, single crochet into the next. Okay, but these stitches here will stay sort of to the front. And that chain five is kind of worked behind. Chain five. Skip that next chain space. And single crochet in that next and again each time it, um, these mark stitches will be going to the front of our work and the chain five is behind Chain five. And then coming down on row five, we want to slip stitch in that next free double crochet. Do not cut your yarn. We will put a stitch marker in this loop. And we'll come back to it later. So I've got each of those mark stitches on the right side and these chains behind. Round 10 for spring, we're using color E. We're going to finish the tree on this row. We're working on the right side in just those marked chain one spaces of row eight, working in front of the chain five spaces from row nine. We're going to slip stitch in this first marked chain one space. And then we can remove that marker. We'll chain three. And we'll do that four times all in the same space. Slip stitch, chain three. That's twice. Slip stitch, chain three, three times. Slip stitch, chain three, four times. And then we'll work that a total of four times. So in the next, we will start our set of four slip stitch, chain three. So once, twice, three times, Four times. So you want to do that two more times. So I've worked that four times. And then in the last one, we will work slip stitch, chain three, three times. Slip stitch, chain three once. 
slip stitch, chain three twice, slip stitch, chain three three times, and we'll end with one last slip stitch in that same space, and we can fasten off. Row 11 for these corner trees, we're going to return to the sky color. So we flip it to the back side. And we had placed a stitch marker in our working loop. So we're just gonna put that loop back on our hook and remove that marker. So we want to slip stitch in these next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then we can turn the work to the right side again. I'm just gonna put my tails back through to the wrong side, not the flower. Okay, so we're going to skip these three slip stitches we just made, working on row five where we have that stitch already worked. We're going to place three treble in there before that slip stitch is that is in there. So three trebles, one, two, and three treble crochet. So we're going to be working in row 10. So that's my pale yellow row. We had made these slip stitches into that chain three at the top of that first branch. So we're going to skip this first slip stitch and the chain three. In that next slip stitch, we are going to work a back loop only double crochet. So there's the two loops of the top of that slip stitch, just working into the back loop only. And our hook is going to go under the row nine, that chain three space behind. Or the chain five space rather. So we'll pull that loop through and then finish our double crochet. We'll skip this next chain three space of row 10 in that next slip stitch. Back loop only and that same chain five space behind of row nine. Pull the loop through, finish our double crochet. And then we'll skip this next chain three and slip stitch. And then in this chain three between our two flower groups, we will place a double crochet We're going to double crochet in that chain three again, but also in the row nine single crochet that's behind it. So our hook goes under the chain three and into the top of the row nine. Pull our loop through for our double crochet. And then back in row 10, under that chain three space, we'll place a double crochet. And then working on this next branch and this next sort of floral group, we skip the first slip stitch and the chain three. Working in the next slip stitch, it's gonna be a back loop only single crochet.
and put your hook under that next chain five space behind it. Pull the loop through and finish that single crochet. Skip that next chain three and in the next slip stitch, back loop only and under that same chain five, single crochet. And then we'll make a double crochet in the chain three of round 10 only. Double crochet in under that same chain three and in that single crochet of row nine. And then double crochet only in the chain three space of row 10 again. Now in this next flower, we're going to make a back loop only treble. So again, just after that first chain three, back loop of that next slip stitch and hook under the chain five, pull the loop through and finish our treble. And then in the same chain five of row nine, we will place two treble, chain one. This chain one is the new corner. You may want to place a marker in that. Two more treble in the chain five, which makes the new corner then. And then again, skipping that chain three back on row 10 in that next slip stitch back loop only. So it's a treble I yarned over twice back loop only of the slip stitch and into that same chain five space. Pull that loop through and finish the treble. Then in this next chain three space of row 10, we will place a double crochet just in that chain. And then double crochet into that single of row nine, making sure your hook goes under the row 10 chain. And double crochet back in just row 10 in that same chain space. Then for the fourth branch, skipping that first slip stitch and the chain three, Back loop only single crochet in the slip stitch and that chain five of row nine. Skip the next chain three and another back loop of the next slip stitch and the chain five single crochet. Double crochet in that next chain three. Well, we skip the chain three slip stitch and then in that chain three between the flowers we double crochet and then double crochet in the single of row nine making sure our hook is also under that same chain three double crochet just in the chain three of row ten and then one more branch in the same way, we'll make a back loop only double, so skipping the first slip stitch in chain three, back loop only double, back loop of the slip stitch, include the chain five of row nine for our double, skip the next chain three, back loop of this next slip stitch. And under that chain for another back loop double, skipping that last chain three and slip stitch. Okay, then coming back down onto row five, 
we're going to work in the same stitch where we had that slip stitch and just after that slip stitch we're going to place three treble crochet so in that same stitch of row five where we already made a stitch three treble crochet We're going to skip the next two stitches and slip stitch in the next. And we can fasten off. Row 12, we are going to be using color D again, starting with our right side facing. We want to find in this row five, we're gonna skip these first three stitches. So that first row of sky, a row five, skipping the first three stitches, we will slip stitch in the next. We're going to skip these next stitches and then in the same stitch where we made a slip stitch already we are going to place a double crochet so we're working in front of the stitch that's already there double crochet and a half double crochet in that same stitch skipping the single crochet sorry skip that slip stitch of last row we're going to single crochet in each of these next 16 stitches. So working through both top loops, row 11, 16 single crochet. One, two. Fifteen and sixteen and that should bring us to that corner space I marked that chain one the last round last row so in that chain one we will make a single crochet chain one place the marker in that chain one single crochet back in that space for our new corner we're going to skip this first treble crochet, single crochet in each of the next 15 stitches. One, two. Fourteen and fifteen single crochet. We're going to place a single crochet in this last slip stitch. And then into the stitch where that slip stitch was made on row five, we'll place a half double crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next single slip stitch in the next and we'll leave the remaining stitches not worked. And you can fasten off. Row 13 using color A and this is for all four triangles, all four seasons. We want to find that marked corner stitch down on round 34 of the octagon. So in this marked stitch, we are going to place a single crochet. And 
and then working on the triangle part. So this is the row one of the triangle. There should be one stitch left unused there. So we're going to place two single crochet in that stitch. And then on row four, single crochet in each of these next or these first two stitches and in each of those two double crochet single crochet in each of these three stitches here this is row five one two and five three and then up here on row 12 so we will single crochet in that first slip stitch and in each of the next 19 stitches one two and 19 single crochet In that corner, we will place single crochet, chain one, move your marker, and single crochet in that same corner space. Single crochet in each of these next 19, being careful to get the first one after the chain one. So it's one, two. eighteen and nineteen single crochet then we want to single crochet in this last slip stitch So in these last three stitches of row five, we placed a single crochet. Then on row four, we want single crochet in these two doubles. There's already a stitch in that first double. And then in the next two skip stitches as well, And on row one, in this unused stitch, we'll place two single crochet. And then back on round 34 of the octagon, in that next marked stitch, we will place a single crochet. And we can go ahead and fasten off, and we can remove the corner markers on the octagon now. right by this triangle. So now you'll want to repeat this on the other three corners following the suggested colorways for summer, autumn, and winter. Now you can leave your tree bare like this if you wish. Um, the designer has given instructions on how to sort of fill it in, make it a bit more colorful or a fuller tree if desired, and that's in the written instructions.